Ta da! All right, it's an hour in business. Now, come down here a little bit. How much of this do I need? I need about that much. Smile when you had enough. Right about there. Okay. Let's take an extra couple inches for uh, for screw up. Now let me get my little tool, my little cut and tool. Uh, yeah, this doesn't cut. This just flares. Now. Now I know why they gave me the extra pieces, so I don't have to yank them off there, because we're going to need them now. So let's slide this one over here, and let's slide this one over there. And let's see here what size. Oh, you don't see what I'm doing here, do you? Oh, do you really care? Okay, I stuck this in, tighten this down, so this is all hunky-dory. Make sure it's nice and tight. And I'm going to take this and stick it up in, in there. And as you can see, this tool is kind of uh, coned. So we'll stick that there. And we're just going to take this, and I should tighten this right up. New message from 01 Life Cell. New message from 01 Life Cell. Stopping at Walmart after work. You told me that this morning. Okay, so see what I'm doing here? So that's done. Now, loosen it up. Drop the other one. Now let's loosen this, loosen that, pull this out of here, ta-da, we have a fit, I am getting hungry. There we go. Ta da! And it's clouding up again. I heard a little thunder in the background. So, therefore, I think we're going to get more thunder showers. Alright, so. And that took me a little longer than I expected, only because. I uh, dropped the piece on the floor. So, so there we are. Now we have them the size we need them. About 42 inches, 43 inches. And that's with a lot of extra room, believe it or not. So let me go out there and, uh, and see what I'm going to do. I'm first going to start by, uh, hmm, where do I want to hook it up first? Well, I first have to start by getting a wrench. I'll get it a, a crescent or an adjustable. I'll be right back. All right, so anyway, it's all done, except for the breaker. I haven't put the 220 breaker in yet. I'm not gonna bother now, because it's getting late. Um, I called support, because I had a question on something, and uh, it really didn't help me. Well, they did and they didn't. Let's put it this way. First of all, they were nice guys. Um, when I took the cap off the condenser unit, um, which I don't know where I put it now. Anyway, uh, I thought I heard something hit the ground. And now when I say the cap, 
on the condenser outside before you screw in the copper, the two pieces of the, the copper tubing, there's little nuts you have to take off. And basically, here they are right here. They're basically the same thing that I put on. They're just a couple of ends you crimp and put on. And when I took off the larger one, I thought I heard something hit the ground. Something light, real light. Uh, it wasn't heavy. The problem being is where it hit the ground, there's a bunch of rock um, of all different sizes. You know, so if it fell in between those rocks, I'd never find it. And not knowing what I'm looking for is another reason. Um, and I, it sounded like it was light. It wasn't heavy. It sounded like it was a piece of thin uh, a metal or or uh, tin or something. It was almost like a, a sleeve or something like that. But so I called them up and I asked them about it and they said, nope, no, there shouldn't be nothing there. I said, all right. I said, I, I know I thought I heard something hit. So, but it could have been anything at that point. Uh, and I told them that I have about four and a half feet running. Well, they said the manufacturer suggests at least 10 feet of this stuff up here. So he says it may be a little noisy. He said, if anything, you know, if not, just change it to 10 feet. Well, I got more than 10 feet here. Uh, he said the kit comes with 25 feet if you bought the kit. Well, I bought the kit, so that means I got 25 feet. Didn't appear to be 25 feet, but I guess it can be. Um, so I do have enough here if I have to do it, and that's not a big deal to change. It really isn't because it just unscrews from the outside and screws into the outside. So it's everything's done right out on the back wall there. So basically it's all done except for the power side itself. So what I'm going to do now is basically call it a day a day and uh, go inside because I got Lance uh, hanging on because it's starting to thunder again and uh, this guy is afraid of a fart so uh, that's all there is to it well, let's put it this way strange noises he'll go after an animal he'll go after a person if I tell him but when it comes to noise uh, yeah, he runs the other way so uh, it's just one of those things to where you know, that's all there is to it. Uh, fireworks and thunder. He doesn't care for them at all. But there's a lot of dogs that don't. So so he's going to hang up my feet, no matter what, as you can see. Right. And, uh, and that's it. When I go inside and I'm going to lay on the couch, he's going to jump up on the couch with me. And he's going to try to squeeze in behind me on the couch. Not lay at my feet, but be th behind me. And then he sits there and pants so hard that the whole couch shakes. And then it's hot because I got 130 pounds of dog on me. You know, so. But what are you going to do? They're just big kids. So. All right. I'm going in, guys.